Eh. Ay, qué cosa más linda. Jorge. Gracias, Jorge. Felicidades en su día. Gracias. Gracias por ser la excelente maestra que necesitamos. Oh. Qué hermoso. Happy gracias. teacher day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What a beautiful surprise. <laughs> ah, it's so beautiful. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you very much for, for that special detail that you had with me. That's very beautiful. Thank you. I, I really appreciate uh, this job. Gracias. Yo siempre le digo okay. uno, un, Después se le envío a su WhatsApp. Por favor, está hermoso. Se parece a mí. <laughs> Hasta el peinado tenemos igual. Es hermoso. Gracias, gracias, Jorge. Qué lindo detalle. Yo siempre les digo que esta, esta labor se hace mucho más fácil cuando se tienen alumnos como ustedes. Excelentes alumnos hacen excelentes maestros. Y así que los retan a uno a ser mejor cada día. Así que les agradezco por ser tan dedicados, por estar ahí siempre pacientes, siempre ahí esforzándose. Y pues, ¿qué más? Si ustedes son excelentes estudiantes de gran calidad, necesitan un docente igual de calidad. Así que gracias, chicos. Para mí es un placer de ver a servirles. Y qué bonito haber sido su primer docente en inglés corporativo. <risa> It's a big pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Carlita. Thank you, Carlita. Thank you, everybody, for, for, the, for the messages, for the details and everything. Gracias a todos por los mensajitos ahí que me enviaron en el día. Estuvo hermoso, hermoso. El día ha sido hermoso y lluvioso. <laughs> well, so welcome to your class. Welcome to this new day. Uh, one day before the end of our modules. Uh, as tomorrow we have presentations. Today we are going to make sure that everything is completed, that everything is done. And for sure that um, you have um, obtained all the different things that you need in order to pass to the next module, right? Because I know that you have been working a lot on the platform. Ya muchos de ustedes la terminaron. Ya muchos de ustedes enviaron eh, ya la, la prueba que ya se termina. Hoy vamos a terminar con eso. Igual vamos a a comprobar de que todo esté completado en la plataforma. Okay, so this is what we're going to do to start today. We're going to go to the platform, right? Today we're going to go to the platform. We're going to check it. We're going to wrap up everything on it. And for sure, we're going to finish with the uh, present continuous topic that we left yesterday uh, on hold, okay? Let me see. How was your day, my dear students? What did you do? ¿Qué hicieron ahora? What did you do today? I am working you, every day. <laughs> you were working a lot every day. Okay. Do you work at home or do you work in your office? Um, at home. Hey, that's nice that you work at home. That's pretty good because you don't have to go out. Right? Leticia, how was your day? Very good teacher. No. Amazing. It was nice. Okay. ¿Qué hizo ahora? Cuéntanos. The shopping. Hey, that's For fantastic. Shopping, a lot of shopping. That's that's sí. a very beautiful day, right? When you go shopping. Sí. Mostly for the ladies. Well, no. Everybody enjoys shopping. Boys and girls. We all love shopping. Right? Ahí no hay cosa de que solo a las chicas nos gustan o solo a los chicos. Sí, yo veo aquí cuando se emocionan y van de compra. It's, it's pretty awesome. Hey, so it was, indeed, it was a very beautiful day, Leticia. Carla, how was your day with you and your baby? Um, nothing. To <laughs> <laughs> uh, be at home? Uh, you stay at home. You stay at home. Ajá. But what about the flu? ¿Qué tal seguiste? ¿Ya estás bien de la gripe y todo? Más o menos. <laughs> so, so, you see. Okay. Sí, de ahí se la cocina. I hey. cook. You cook? cook. 
you cook and you stay at home. That's good. Jennifer, Tatiana, mm. how was your day? Hello, teacher. Yes, um, I am working. <laughs> okay, you say you work. Um, uh -huh, and? Uh, hmm? You work and work and work. <laughs> that's, and work. that's basically what you, what you do during the day when you work, only working. Marta Jacqueline, what did you do on your day? <laughs> Marta Jacqueline and the dinosaur. Hi. Hi. Uh, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero hoy fue un mal día porque había lavado ropa. Y salí y cuando regresé ya estaba lloviendo. Oh, that's terrible. You say, I washed the clothes, I went out, and when I came back, it was raining. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, yeah, that's very terrible. Because you say, hey, it's sunny, I need to wash the clothes, right? Yeah. Cuando éramos más jóvenes nos alegraba que saliera el sol porque podíamos ir a la playa o a algún lado. Ahora nos alegra porque podemos lavar. <laughs> And it is... Pero la tarde siempre llueve. Yes, it always rains. And today it started raining when it was very sunny. Because it was very yeah. sunny and then pss, rain. <laughs> it was very frustrating. Uh, Luis Eduardo, how was everything in Costa Rica? Hi, teacher. Happy teacher day. Thank you very much. How is Todavía, that? Huh? Todavía estoy en Costa Rica. Ah, so, pura vida. Pura <laughs> vida. Pero ya, ya, ya se me terminan las vacaciones. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ya pronto regreso. <laughs> okay, so, but you were enjoying in Costa Rica. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Carlita Lisette, how was your day? Carlita Lisette. Hello, hello. Hello. How was your day, Carlita? ¿Qué tal su día? Very good. Very good. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, welcome to the other ones that are joining. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Marlon. And hello, all the other students that are going to join during uh, the rest of our class. For sure, what uh, we should be doing or what we should be finishing by today, and I think all of you already did it, but we need to review it, is section number five of our uh, platform. In this section, you had a couple of exercises, and for sure, you had uh, some evaluations as well. And for sure, the last thing that it should be completed are the final exams, right? In this section, in this section, we have a couple of evaluations regarding the present continuous, right? This was a, a little bit challenging for everybody because you were trying to write all the sentence, right? And the only thing that you needed was basically the verbs. Do you remember the different situations that they were going through? Recuerdan las situaciones que estaban pasando en el audio? A little bit, yes, no. Do you remember the situations that were going on in the audio? Let's check them and then we're going to review the answers. Okay, let's see if it works with me. Vamos. No. Siempre me deja mal enfrente de los niños. <laughs> let's see. There you go. Answer questions about each sound. One. Two. Three. Four. Evans prison. Come see. Six. Seven. Three next Wednesday night. Five. Six. 
six. Seven. Eight. I think number eight was the most complicated one until you listen to the bell bling of the typing machine. The problem here was that many of you didn't use the typing machine. Yo creo que de este grupo, quizás el, ¿qué? el 50% ya no recibió mecanografía. Or did you? Mecanografía. Ay, justo en la vejez. <laughs> mecanografía was a specific subject on which you learn how to type, but in a typewriter, en una máquina de escribir. Te ponía, había un salón lleno de máquinas de escribir y todos estaban. But, on the contrary, many of the people who received this subject are very good on the computer because they can type very fast. Okay. Muchos de los otros que fueron a la materia, pero no pasó la materia por ellos, type like this, with only two fingers. Right? <laughs> Me, for example. <laughs> yeah. So, en mecanografía te enseñaban a escribir en computadora, en máquina de escribir y todo, era como súper rápido. Habían, eh, me siento como que estoy contando una historia de vejez. Oh my God. Eh, habían lugares hasta en los que te vendaban los ojos y te ponían a escribir. Y tenías que escribir todo el párrafo correctamente sin ver, obviamente porque estabas vendado. Y habían otros que lo tenías que hacer viendo al frente, viendo a la persona que te estaba evaluando sin ver el teclado. Entonces era una cuestión bien retadora. Sí. ¿Quiénes de aquí son buenos para mecanografía? Veamos. Creo que hubiese sido buena porque puedo escribir sin ver las teclas. Ajá. ¿Quiénes son buenos en, en mecanografía? A ver. Yo no. <risa> no, se me entrababa. No ah, Luis, Luis Eduardo, ah. ya. Yeah. Jorge era bueno. ¿eh? Yo era bueno. Era bueno. Eh, 40 <risa> palabras por minuto. Ah. Cuando era joven. Ah, ¿cómo es? <risa> Yeah. Cuando tenía 22. Oh my God, y ahora tiene 23. <risa> Imagínense. Sí, era, era muy bueno. Yo les digo que ahora eso es un problema para la gran mayoría porque no lo podemos hacer. So, entonces en el sonido cabal se oía el ping de la máquina de escribir cuando topaba el carrete y había que regresarlo. Por eso fue quizás el más retador porque era she's typing. Right? And in the other ones we had different things, we had different sounds. Uh, the first one that you had, what was it? Do you remember what was the first one? What was the first driving. sound? Driving. 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 Number two? Swimming. 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 You listen to the Swimming. water. Number three? Eating. Eating. She's eating. Number four? What to? She's television. watching television. Number five? Dancing. She's dancing. dancing. Number six? Uh, 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 riding. 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 <laughs> dancing. Mm, she was playing tennis. In number seven, she was riding her bike. In number six. And in the last one, she's typing. Here you have all the magic of options that you can include in the answers, right? For sure, you cannot do this. This is something that I can only do. And it says uh, here, you have all the options, right? Swimming, eating, watching television, number four. Number five, she's dancing. Number six, she's riding a bike. Number seven, she's playing tennis. And number eight, she's typing. Okay. Si en alguna de estas la puso incorrecta, todavía la puede corregir para que le quede a 100%. So this was the first thing, the first thing that she was doing. Now, on the second one, you had 
uh, the intonation, and I explained you this before, right? That if you have yes, no questions, you have rising intonation, and for the WH question, it's falling intonation. And you have it right here. Are you wearing a coat? What are you doing now? What time is it? Is it midnight? What color is his t-shirt? Are you from Thailand? Okay, practice the intonation with me, my dear students. Read number one. Rising intonation. Are you wearing a coat? 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 Are okay. Are you are wearing, wearing a, coat? a coat? Recuerden que la entonación tiene que ser también en la duda, ¿verdad? Para que tengamos una respuesta de yes or no. Are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a are coat? You wearing a coat? What are you doing are now? Are you wearing a coat? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What time is it? What time is it? What is it midnight? Is it is midnight? It midnight? It what is color midnight. is his t-shirt? What, what, what color, color is his t-shirt? T-shirt. T-shirt. Are you from Thailand? Are, are you, you from, from Thailand? Thailand? Very good job. You're right. Are you Thailand. from Thailand? And you give you the question, right? In the intonation of the question. Then on the next one, right? On the next one, here we have a activities. Yesterday, we were studying this. This is what we were doing yesterday, right? The different activities that people do in the different times of the day. It is four o'clock in the morning. And what is Celia doing? What is Celia doing? It's four o'clock in the morning. What is she doing? She's sleeping. She's sleeping, right? She is sleeping. She is sleeping. And in which city is she right now? In Los Angeles. She's in Los Angeles, right? She's in Los Angeles. What time is in Los Angeles? 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m., right? And Celia is sleeping. What time is what time is it in Mexico City? 6 a.m. It is 6 o'clock. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And the morning. what is the name of the person? Marcos. 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 His name is Marcos. His name is Marcos. What is Marcos doing? He's waking up. He's waking up. He's waking up, right? Oh, he's waking up. What about uh, the next one? What time is it in the next picture? It's it is seven, seven o'clock in the morning. It is seven o'clock in the morning. In which city are the uh, characters of the picture? New York City. New York city. They are in New, New York, York city. city. And what, what are they doing? They are in New York City. They are... They uh, are... Uh, they eating. 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 They are eating breakfast, right? They are eating breakfast. What about the next picture? What uh, city are they talking about? This one. Brasilia. 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 Right? They are talking about Brasilia. What time is it in Brasilia? It is nine o'clock in the morning. It is nine o'clock in the morning. It's nine o'clock in the morning, right? And what is Celia doing? Going to the work. She is going to work, right? She is going to work. She is going to work. Or she is going, going to, to or she's, well, yeah, she's going to work. She's working, right? What about James and Anne? In which city are they right now? They are, they London. are in London. They are drinking tea. They are in yeah. London. They are drinking tea. For sure, they are in London. That's what people in London do. Here, cafe and hojitas. But in London, tea. Okay. Tea what? and cookies. Yeah, tea and cookies. Uh -huh. Vanilla cookies. Here, hojita, <laughs> hojita, Josemita. What time is it in London? Noon. It's noon. It is 12. 
It is 12. It is 12 p.m., right? It's 12 p.m. Yes. or it is noon. And it what about noon. the last picture? Andrew is working. Andre is working. What time is it? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And where is he located? Moscow. He's in Moscow. He's, he's in Moscow. Moscow. He's in Moscow, right? He's in Moscow. Okay, he, he is Moscow now, right? Moscow. He, is Moscow. Moscow. he is in <laughs> Moscow. Good. So these are the questions that you have He here. is in Moscow. And in this one, what is Marco wearing? What is he's Marco wearing? wearing? He is wearing pajamas. He is wearing, he's wearing pajamas. pajamas, right? He's wearing pajamas. Yeah. How nice, right? He's wearing pajamas, right? In this one, is it correct, this one? No. Uh -huh. no Why? It's the next one. It's, it's the next one. But what was the problem class. with this one? No what tiene because no tiene el... Uh -huh. It doesn't have the, the verb. El, el usando pijamas. Pijama, right? Uh -huh. El usando pijamas. El está usando pijamas, la correcta. Ajá. Then the first one. He is wear pyjamas. Él es usar pyjamas. Él es usar pyjamas, correcto. It is totally incorrect. The next one. Who is having breakfast? Who is um, having breakfast? No sé okay. When you have the question who, you need a person. You, and Tom. So you need Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom are having breakfast, person. right? Sue, Sue and, Tom and Tom are Sue having Tom. breakfast. What is Celia wearing? What is Celia wearing? A dress. She's, She's wearing, wearing suit. She's wearing a suit. She's wearing a suit. A suit. Porque de dos piezas. Tiene chaqueta y falda. A suit. She's wearing a suit. She's wearing a suit. Todavía lo podemos cambiar. Don't worry. She's wearing a suit. The next one. Why are James and Anne having lunch? Why are James and Anne having lunch because, because it is noon. noon right because it is noon Jane and Anne are having having lunch because it is noon the problem here it says have and the problem here it says Jane and Anne having lunch without the verb to be and the next one where is Andre working he is working in Spain, in Moscow, or in London? He is in working in Moscow. He is working in Moscow. Moscow. In Moscow. Moscow, Moscow. And there you Moscow. go. And you check, right? You check, and for sure, all the sentences are correct. It is not really that complicated. And the last one, this is what we did already about the sounds. And here, we are missing this one, that it's... Uh, a conversation across continent, across the continent. And it says, listen and read the conversations and then respond with the name of each person doing the activity. And here you have, I think it is the next one here. Let's check on it. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? I'll see. For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee, and she's reading a magazine. How is your family?
They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, they probably didn't take a mechanography lessons, right? Porque en el chik 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 chik. If they didn't do it. Who was writing an essay? Who was writing an essay? Uh, Meg. Kathy O'Brien. I am writing an essay for Kathy. my Spanish class. In this case, it's Kathy O'Brien, right? Who Kathy is having coffee? Who is having coffee? Meg. Meg Martin. Meg Martin, right. Meg Martin is having coffee. Who is reading a magazine? Carmen. Carmen, right? Carmen. Without her cadenita. She's reading a magazine. Who is working outside? Katy's father. Katy's father, right? Who is shopping? Katy's mother. Katy's mother. mother. And who is playing Kathy soccer? Mother. John O'Brien. John O'Brien. John O'Brien, right? And her brother, John right? Brian. And it says, my brother John is not at home. So you know that uh, she is referring to her brother. Okay. Do you know all the words from this paragraph, people? Todo el vocabulario de este párrafo estaba correcto? Lo conocía? Solo la parte que dice que estaba escribiendo un ensayo. ¿Cómo sería la pronunciación? Essay. Say, I'm writing an essay. I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Essay or essay? No, essay. Essay with S. Essay. Essay. Yes. Okay. Do you know what is the meaning of mowing the lawn? He's mowing the lawn. Huh? What is the meaning of mowing the lawn? I don't know. You don't know. It is. Está cortando el césped. Está cortando el césped. But with a machine. Right? Like, with a machine. Not with a machete, right? No, he's mowing the lawn with a machine, right? Con una máquina de cortar césped, right? Hitting El Salvador with the machete, right? And that's it, right? Or with one of these machines that have like little... Uh, they have like little lines and they cut the, the grass, right? But they, in that case, you cut it. When you say, I'm mowing the lawn, it's with the machine, okay? Cortar el césped con una podadora. And let me see. I think most of the other vocabulary, it's very common, right? So that was basically it for unit number five, right? Everything is complete. And if everything is done with unit number five, you should be done as well with the final evaluations. Did you have any problem with the final evaluation? No. 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 Right, because they were very common uh, because all the other exercises were very similar. So uh, it didn't have any, any um, complications. Do you remember this first conversation? Where is Justin from? Do you remember this? Where was he from? De donde era Justin? Yes. Where Where is he from? She is from Canada. From Canada. She what about Mike? What is Mike Canada. like? Canada. Uh, Do you he remember? He's a little very quiet, funny. but very funny. He's a little quiet, but very funny. Do you remember how was the weather? It's raining, but it's yes, warm. but uh, no puedo pronunciar. <laughs> it's raining, but it's warm. Rain. It's raining, but it's warm. In most of the cases, when it rains, it gets cold, right? Mm -hmm. But here, it's raining, but it's warm. And is Sue wearing mm -hmm. a blue dress? No, she's not. No, no she's, she's not. not. She's wearing a suit. 
She's wearing a suit, right? She's not wearing a swimsuit. And there you go, right? This was the first one. In the next evaluation, here, uh, some of you had difficulties to answer this one. And it says, you have to make the question for the answer that you have. The question here for this answer, it's like, no, they are not from England. They are from Australia. What is the question that you need to make? Are you from England? Are they from England? Are you from? Are you from? Are you from England? England? Are you from England? Right? England. The next one, England. Are you from England? No, they are not from England. They are from Australia. And you can say, are they? Are they from England? No, they are not from England. They are from Australia. We are from New York. What is the question that you need for this type of question? Of answer? Where, where, are where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Very good. What about the next one? I think she's 22. How old is she? How old is she? How old is she? And the next one says, no, my first language isn't Spanish. It's Portuguese. Is, it, is your first, first language, language, is is your language, first language, language. Is Spanish? Excellent. It's your first language Spanish. And the question mark. And the last one. Yes, I am Japanese. I Japanese? am from Japanese. Are you Japanese? Japanese? Are you Japanese? Are you Japan? Are you Japanese? There you go. And those are the questions that you need to get, okay? So this was based on the questions. So if you made a mistake with any of them, you can correct it. Siempre pueden ir y corregirlas, don't worry. Larry isn't serious. What is the opposite of serious? Funny. He is funny. Funny, right? No es serio, es divertido. Jean is a really good student. She is very... It's smart. 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 She's very smart. My teacher isn't short. She is tall. She's tall. tall. She's tall. tall, right? In the real life, too. <laughs> My brother is good looking. He is handsome. 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 He's handsome, right? He's handsome. And that's handsome. it. That's it, right? You have the correct questions. Yeah. If you see me in the real life, it's like, Hi, teacher. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yes, I, I am a very tall lady. And here we have, choose the correct question. Is this Sue's scarf? What will be the correct answer? No. It's no, not it hers. is not hers. Not it is hers. mine. No, it is not hers. It is mine. We did this exercise in class. Whose boots are these? Whose boots maybe are these? They're, maybe they are maybe they're Kathy. Kathy's. Kathy. Maybe they are Kathy's. Tal vez son de la Kathy. Are these Lisa's gloves? <laughs> yes, they're hers. Yes, yes they're they hers. are hers. They're hers. They are hers. Whose hat is this? I think it's yours. I think it's, your... it's my hat, right? Yours. Are these Peter's and Caddy's coats? No, they aren't they, theirs. No, they are not theirs. They are no, they aren't ours. theirs. They are ours. And there you go. Right? Ten, ten, ten. They are ours. And the next one, right? The next uh, evaluation. Use the correct form of the present continuous verb. Are you wearing jeans? What will be the correct option? No, I am wearing. No, a I am suit. wearing suit. No, I am wearing a suit. Right? A Is suit. Mr. Sims wearing a tie? No, he isn't wearing a tie. He isn't wearing a tie. Very good. Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? No, they, no, are, they are not. Very they, they very hot. No, they are not. It is very it hot. It is very hot. It is, it is very, very hot. hot. Is it raining? No, no it is not no raining. raining. It's, 
It's, it's snowing, snowing it's, right? It's, it's snowing. not raining. It's snowing, right? Even worse, right? Very good. And the final evaluation that you had here, select the correct time. My friend, the time. It was like, no sirve teacher la plataforma que nos saca que me la plataforma. The problem is that you need to read the indications. You need to select two. Two, two. <laughs> two options, right? What time is it in the first clock? It's 10 to 7. And? It is 10 to 7. And the second option? And it is 6.50. 6.50, 50, right? What yeah. about the next one? 50. It is 8.45. 8.45 and? And quarter it is to nine. A, quarter, a quarter to it's nine, right? A quarter, a quarter to nine. A quarter, a quarter to nine. To nine. Quarter the next to one. Nine. What time it's is it in this one? Past 11. It is five past 11. It is 11 05. Very good. It is five past 11. It is 11 05. No sirve la plataforma, teacher. <laughs> hey, I made I made a mistake. Ah, it's sorry. I, I chose the incorrect one. It says it's eight forty five. Ah, this one is <laughs> sorry. It's eight forty five and it's a quarter to nine. Yo había dado click donde no era. Sorry. <laughs> my my bad. El click. So this was the platform, right? And once that everything is completed up to here. Aquí ya no le sale nada de siguiente ni nada, porque obviamente ya está completado todo. And here, if you go to your progress, if you go to your progress, you can see the different bars of progress uh, that uh, you can have. For sure, I don't have them complete because I am just doing specific exercises with you. But in your mm -hmm. case, all this should be complete. Todo eso en sus plataformas, yo porque solo hago ejercicios específicos, Se tiene que ver rojito todo aquí y esas dos grises. Gris y rojo tiene aquí. Okay. Okay. Así que eh, váyanse todos a progreso hoy después de clase y le toman captura a esta parte específica de la plataforma y la envían al WhatsApp. Ok. Para que todo esté comprobado de que ustedes okay. ya están totalmente completados con esta parte de la plataforma. Todas las barritas, hecho. excelente. Todas las barritas tienen que estar completadas en el 100%. Si no está completada al 100%, vea en qué ejercicio nos cometimos ahí algún errorcito y corrijámoslo. Creo que ya los resolvimos todos para que la podamos tener al 100%. Mr. José Alexander, dígame. En el caso de los que ya mandaron, bueno, esta semana mandaron un listado de los que ya lo habíamos completado. Aún nosotros también tendríamos que mandar la captura para comprobación. Yes, it's because that is for me. Okay. Yes, it's that's my personal thing, right? I do it for me to to prove that you did it already. Okay. Eso es como parte de comprobación de mi parte como docente que me queda constancia. Si en algún caso me dicen no, no ha terminado. Here it is. You have it. Okay. And if so, I can have the answer for that. Okay, my dear sí, class, I am going to call the attendance. Yes. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Ok, gracias, uh -huh. teacher. Okay, teacher, perfect. ¿y en yes. qué parte de la plataforma aparecerá el, el diploma o certificado? Ah, creo que ese se libera el día de mañana cuando ustedes eh, completan su asistencia. Porque hay una parte aquí que cuando ustedes tienen esto, ah, bueno, a mí no me sale porque soy su instructor, pero dice solicitar certificado aquí arriba. Hay, hay algunas partes, pero como Muy el bien. de ustedes se libera cuando se completa la asistencia, imagino que el día de mañana ya le va a aparecer a ustedes el, el, la opción. Esa es la, la, la diferencia. Porque cabal en la parte de progreso, abajo ah, dice okay. solicitar certificado, pero como ustedes llevan el, el plus de la asistencia, al finalizar el último día, ahí me imagino que se los libera. Hay que estar pendientes de eso. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, my dear class, I'm going to call the attendance. Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. Let's see. Let's work here with... Um, oui. Let me open my document. Let me see. Okay. I have it. Jennifer Tatiana? Present. Thank you. Jorge Alberto? Present. Jose Alexander Hernandez? Present. Thank you. Eh, Josue Mejia Martinez? Juan Antonio Chavez? Hey, Juan Antonio, first time that he misses classes. Siempre está Juan Antonio aquí. Juan Diego? Carla Lisset? Martínez. Present. Thank you. Carla Nicole Hueso. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present. Catherine Judith Portillo. Present. Catherine Paola Rodríguez. Katia Dalila. Leticia Aide. Present. Eh, Linda Beatriz. Lucía Fernanda Mancía. Lucía Fernanda. No. Luis Eduardo Méndez. Very well. Por ahí está su manita. Very good. Manuel Alfredo Cruz Arevalo. María Elena Galdames. Present. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue. María Guadalupe Martínez. María Teresa Murillo. Ok. Mario Antonio Delgado. Marlon José. Marta Jacqueline. Present. Eh, Miguel Leonidas. Nelson Rodimiro. Present. Noemi Abigail. Norma Guadalupe. Present. Patricia Maricela. Rodrigo Antonio. Rodrigo. Se me quedó viendo TV ahora. Y Rosa Albacoc. Ok. I'm oh, sorry, teacher. Present. Ok, there you go. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There you go. Perfect. Okay, my dear students. Um, any question for tomorrow's presentation before I continue? It's preferably. I mean, in these cases, for example, when you have a presentation, the best thing that I can recommend is that you know your information, okay? Lo mejor que pueden hacer de ahora en adelante en cualquier presentación que tengan en inglés, conozcan su información, conozcan la información para que la puedan explicar y así no, no tengan que estar como I am doing this, I am doing that, I am reading, no. So it is going to help you for you to understand your information and for you to convey the message, right? Si ustedes conocen su información, la practican, la leen y todo, se le facilita el hecho de no estarla leyendo. Porque si la leen, a veces se ponen más nerviosos por lo que están leyendo, si me equivoco, la leí bien, la leí mal. Sino que lo que más recomiendo yo es que conozcan lo que van a hacer, que tengan una idea en general y lo hagan como lo han practicado. ¿Ok? Tal vez ahí no nos va a salir como 100% perfect, right? But it is good. Y es original. ¿Ok? Porque, una biografía prácticamente. Okay. It's kind of, biografía. it's a mini bio, it's a, like kind of a personal description, right? It's more like a personal description. And uh, it is going to be like that. It is going to be simple, to the point and uh, sharp. I always say this to my students. ¿Por qué no los motivo a que sí escríbalo y lo lee? Porque por la vida no vamos a andar con un papelito ahí. Eh. Si en la vida usted se encuentra alguna persona en la calle que habla inglés y le dice, hey, can you help me? 
permítame que tenga un papel para eso. Here. Oh, hi. Good morning. What's your name? How can I help you? No, right? The life is not going to be like that. So it's better if you understand, if you practice, if you manage your information for you to express, right? It is not going to be perfect. Yes, but it's going to be original and it's going to be from you. Okay, ahí si se equivoca, si todo, ahí es, es cuestión de, de la normalidad de una presentación. Ok, en, y es para nosotros, ya que ya somos familia, ya nos conocemos todos. <ríe> so, no una problem. pregunta, una pregunta. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo comenzaría el siguiente módulo? Ah, very good question. For this, and because this is your first time, the next module uh -huh. takes like four or five days. In some cases, right? In some cases, there are other cases. Básico. Uh, but yeah. it's it's the second one. It, it the all the process it's divided like in beginners one, two, three, and then you go to pre intermediate one, two, three, then you go to intermediate one, two, three, and then advanced one, two, three. Okay, so it goes in stages depending on the process and the development, right? So you are going to go to beginners two. Y por cada nivel sería un diploma. Yes. You receive a diploma for each of the levels. Okay. Entonces, al final tendríamos nueve. Yes. Or I don't know if you are going to, to add any other course, right? No sé si en el camino pueda cambiar el desarrollo del curso, pero sí, es normalmente lo que se, lo que se vive. Okay. okay, good. Okay, my dear class, Gracias. I have a very curious picture here. Is there any problem with the picture? Or do you see the picture normal? Yes. What? They are playing tennis Mark with and Randy oh, are open. riding in the water. And they are riding bicycles in the water. Playing tennis with parachutes. With umbrellas. In... With umbrellas. Only this. Parachutes. Uh, parachutes and are a tiger. <laughs> Anna is running with heels. <laughs> okay. Anna is running with heels, right? And what about Peter? He's sleeping in the water. He's, asleep, he's sleeping in the water, right? He's sleeping under the rain because it's raining oh, no. on the tree. It's raining on the tree. And what is Mr. Frank doing? <laughs> he's reading. He's he, reading. And he's, he's reading. sitting when? Where is he sitting? Here. On the car. On the car. He is sitting on the car, right? And he is reading the newspaper. And the curious thing is that a tiger is driving the car, driving right? The car. Uh, a tiger is driving the car. And what about Ellen? What is Ellen doing? Swimming. She's swimming. swimming. With dress. <laughs> She's swimming with a dress. And also with... Uh -huh. With a hat. Tell me, what is Bob wearing? A suit. He's yes. wearing a suit, right? He's wearing a suit. What about Mr. Frank? What is Mr. Frank wearing? He's wearing, He's wearing a suit. suit. He's wearing a suit, a tie, and a hat. He's wearing a hat. hat. And a hat, right? And a scarf, right? He's wearing a scarf. Good, very good. Let me see. What is Anna wearing? He is wearing, wearing a sport. Sport wear. He is wearing black high heels. He is wearing black high heels. And he's wearing a sweat shirt. He's wearing a sweat She. She is wearing a sweat shirt and pants, right? She's wearing a sweatshirt and pants, and she's carrying what? Briefcase. Mm. A briefcase. Very <laughs> nice. Case. She's carrying a briefcase. Now, here you have the idea of the picture. Now, I am going to show you another picture, and you are going to create some sentences. Go ahead. Create three sentences about what you can see in the picture. 
The dog is eating pizza. Exactly. Write it down. Escriban tres en su cuaderno. Three sentences. Okay. Write three sentences. Thank you for the pictures of the progress. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Many of your friends do not have internet connection. They are commenting on the chat. They are having problems with the connection. Okay. Three sentences. Let's see. Who has them ready? Penny. Marta, go ahead. The first one is the dog is pizza. The second one is cheese soup. She's cooking soup. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's see. I am going to to share one. The dog is eating pizza with chopsticks. Chopsticks are the palillos chinos. Jose Alexander, go ahead. Doing or cooking? Cooking. Cooking. Cooking octopus soup. <laughs> octopus the soup. Dog, <laughs> the dog is eating pizza. Gina and Alex are eating pizza. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Marta, do you have a question? ¿Cómo se escribe palillos chinos? I send it on the chat. Se los envío okay. al chat ahorita Thank aquí de, de Zoom. Chopsticks, C H O P S T I C K S. Let's see. Let's go with Jorge Alberto. The dog is using chopstick. Um, Tracy is cooking octopus. Gina Garcia is sitting on the cooler. She's sitting on the cooler, right? She's sitting on the cooler. All of them are sitting on the coolers. <laughs> and they are, the coolest thing is what they are wearing. Who can tell me a sentence with They are what? wearing pajamas. They are wearing pajamas, right? They are wearing pajamas. And they are all messy. Messy is desordenados, right? They are all messy. And the cool thing is that Tracy is cooking, but where is she cooking? on tv she's cooking on the tv right she is cooking on the tv right she is not cooking anywhere else and she is cooking octopus any other volunteer to read sentences so you can practice thank you carla go ahead mm, teacher they are, they are eating in the park in the park uh -huh. Wearing pajamas. They are eating in the park wearing pajamas. Good. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Let Leticia Aide. Tell me another sentence. Thank Mr. You Garcia me. eating pizza with his family. Mr. Garcia is eating pizza with his family. Yeah. Very the good. Dog eating pizza. The dog Trace. is eating pizza. Yes. Tracy is cooking the soup on the TV. Tracy is cooking soup on the TV. Good. Thank you very much. And let's see one more. One more person. Only one, only one. Chin, chin, chin. 
Thank you, Jennifer Tatiana. My volunteer. Um, the dog is the pizza. The dog is eating pizza. Uh, eating pizza. The dog is eating pizza. And let me see. Um, Do you have another one? Do you have another um, No. What about Norma? Norma, can you give me one sentence? Uh, Mr. Garcia is a eating pizza. Mr. Garcia yeah. is eating pizza, right? Sorry, sorry, sorry that I move it. Mr. Garcia is eating pizza. Uh -huh. The dog eating pizza. The dog is they eating are, pizza. Uh, they are in the park in family. <laughs> they are in the park as a family, right? They are in the park as a family. Very good job. So here I just have the final exercise for today. And uh, here we have it. We didn't do this one yesterday, right? No, este no lo hicimos ayer. No, right? So here we have <laughs> el perro con palillos chinos. Yes. Here I have the example and I have here on the first part, I have the subject and on the second part, I have the activity. In this case, we have you and Ricky and it says, what are you and Ricky doing? We are eating pizza, okay? What I need you to do is that I need you to choose any exercise, exercise number two, exercise number three, exercise number four, five, six, seven, or eight. I need you to choose two exercises and create the question and the answer, okay? Le voy a hacer yo uno para que ustedes puedan escoger cualquiera de los demás. What is the subject? ¿Qué sujeto tenemos en este número dos? Michael. Michael. What is the question for this? If you are going to ask. What is Michael doing? Exactly like that. What is Michael doing? He is cooking dinner. And you say he is cooking dinner. Mm. Here you say he is cooking dinner. He is cooking dinner. Okay, so this is what you need to do. I need you to choose two exercises. Ya el número dos ya no, porque ya lo hice yo. <laughs> you can choose number three, four, five, six, or seven. Choose two. Create the question and the answer. Escojan dos y les hacen la pregunta y la respuesta. Follow the example. Follow the example for you to have it. Follow your example and create Usted no va a preguntar o nosotros la decimos. You can tell me now. Me la puede decir ya. Ok. Démosle. Um, Demo. What are Nicole and Jennifer doing? They are watching television. Uh, what is Mary doing? She is shopping. Very good job, Jose Alexander. One more volunteer. Voluntario más. I send you the picture on the chat for you to create the other examples. Let's see who has the examples ready. Nelson, go ahead. Roddy, sorry. <laughs> uh, what is Mary doing? She is shopping. What is Steven doing? He is studying, studying math. math. He's studying math. 
he is studying math. Okay. Well, my dear class, I send you the picture on the chat for you to complete your exercise. We are going to ask the questions tomorrow. Mañana las pueden reportar tan pronto eh, nos conectemos para que ustedes practiquen o las pueden enviar ahí en el chat completadas. I am going to see you tomorrow. Please remember to send the report of your progress and be ready for your presentations. Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good Have a night. beautiful night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jorge. I loved it. Send me the picture. Bye-bye. <laughs>